Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Rose from Rose Budget Life. And today I have a second paycheck of January. Budget with me. If you like this type of content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into today's video. First, I want to uh, read something from the Box of Blessings. Pick this one right here. Alright, and let's see. And it says, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. And that's John 10, 10. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. God has made everything beautiful for its own time. And that's from Ecclesiastes 3 and 11. Okay, and let's get into some Happy Mail real quick. I did go ahead and unbox it because I was so excited. But I did get this box. It's a $2,500 saving challenge box from Beautifully Me and you, Etsy Shop. And I'll leave her Etsy Shop down below. The pink card. And these are little mini envelopes. It's a savings box type of content. The goal is to save $2,500. And once you finish each section, you just mark complete. And these are what it's looking like. I'm going to put a prop hundred in one of them just to show you. And this is how it I'm gonna put it like this. Let's see. put it like this. Here we go. So that's how it'll look. And once I complete that section, I just mark it off each check, and it's total one hundred dollars. Just wanted to show you. Put that to the side, and let's get into the second paycheck budget. So this paycheck, I will be budgeting. A thousand dollars I did get a little bit of a raise I got 50 cents so that's always good it means I'm doing something right okay and the pay period date is January the 27th and I'll be budgeting a thousand dollars of income. Paycheck number two of January. Thousand. And on this pay period, we will be paying. Well, I will be paying my state farm car insurance. That is one hundred five, and that is due one twenty nine. And. I'll be paying my windows for the month of February. That is two thirty-two, and that is due. Uh, let's see, that is due actually two. One, the twenty-three, and I'm gonna pay my city credit card of a hundred dollars, and that's just gonna be due for one. 27 that paycheck and then I'm gonna pay my Chase credit card a hundred dollars and it's just gonna be due with this paycheck I'm paying extra on it so I can go ahead and get the balances down identity IQ that is 30 and that comes out this February the 4th and this is the bills from January the 27th to February the 9th. 
and then I'll get paid again on February the 10th. So Identity IQ and then Capital One. I think I had a yearly subscription of something come through and it was $57. And that is gonna be due this paycheck as well. 127. So we're gonna go ahead and check those off as paid for the month and let's tally this up. So I'm gonna start with so we're gonna start with um 105 for state form plus 232 for my windows plus 100 for my city credit card and 100 for my chase credit card 30 30 for identity iq 57 that is a total of 624 and if i take that minus a thousand that is 376 remaining and from here i will be uh doing let's see i'll move that up so y'all can see it i will be doing my cash envelopes for gas I did go ahead and fill up as of today, and today is Thursday, January the uh, 26th. I did go ahead and fill up, so I'm just gonna budget 25, and that should carry me till I get paid again, hopefully. And then I'm gonna do groceries. I'm gonna budget for 135, and then household. do need some washing powder so I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well so if we take let's see tally these up 135 25 and 25 that is a total of 185 and if we take 376 y'all see that 376 minus 185 That is a remaining of 191. And from over here, I do want to go ahead and let's see, I do want to go ahead and um put the remaining in some saving challenges. And that is 191 total of 191 and from 191 to 191 that's equals a zero base budget so i hope you enjoyed this type of content be sure to like comment and subscribe and well on that thought i am on my way to the bank so i will resume this video when i get back see you shortly Okay, y'all, next, let's see. We have a zero-based budget, so I'm going to just continue filling this out. And my income was $1,000. Cash envelopes was $185. Cash envelopes was $185. Sinking funds and savings. Sinking funds was $191. Zero for savings. And my bills was a total of six twenty four, so I just want to tally that up. Make sure it equals all zero. That means the money I have a place, all the money I have a job and a place. So a thousand. Let's see. Well, let's do it this way. One eighty five, one ninety one, six twenty four. And there we have it, $1,000. And I will be right back. I'm on my way to the bank to get this. But I do want to just put over here saving challenges. And since I'm doing a uh, 191, let's see. How, how am I going to distribute, I mean, do my denominations? I want to get small bills just in case because I want to stuff something. I want to stuff this box and my 100 envelope challenge box. 
So since we're doing 191, let's do one, two, three, four, five. That's 50. One forty one minus a dollar. So one forty, let's do twenty forty sixty. And then we'll do let's do one more. Twenty forty sixty eighty so minus twenty. And we'll do uh sixty. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So let's do 12. So let's see. We have 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 60, 80. Four. Let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80. And we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 5 for 50 and 5, 10. Let's see. Can y'all see that? Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 60. 70. 60. I think that's 12 for 60. And one for a dollar. So, this total down here, can y'all see? So, I did my denomination. So, this should equal 191. So, this should equal 191. My calculator out, 80 plus 50 plus 60 Plus a dollar. There we have it. 80 plus 50 plus 60 plus 1. And that's 191. Oops, I keep. 80 plus 50 plus 60 plus 1. 191. So it all matches up together. 191. And I'm going to grab my teller slip and we'll get ready to take a trip to the bank. I must have them in my other binder. I'll be right back. Okay, I got my teller slip. So now I'm just going to write down my denominations. And we have, I don't think we have any hundreds. Okay, and we have, let's see, north 50. So we'll start with 20s. I have 420s that equals 80. 420 that equals 80. 510 for 50. Then I have 12, 12 fives for 60. Let's see. And $1 that equals $1. And that is $1.91. Here's my teller slip. I'm going to take to the bank with my cash withdrawal slip. And I'll see you shortly. All right, y'all. I am back from the bank. Unfortunately, the bank up the street from my house was closed. So I did not get a chance to go. But what I will do in the meantime is stuff my saving challenges with prop money. And then I'll just upload a short video of me stuffing my wallet. But today I'm going to stuff my 100 envelope box and my $2,500 saving challenge box with prop money. 
since I was unable to go to the bank. So, for this um, pay period, I decided to put $36 towards saving challenges. And I will be doing, I will be doing number 15. And to complete the section one, it is $100. But I'll be um, stuffing 15 in today. Get the envelope out of here. Here we go. So I'll be stuffing fifteen dollars. And I, I don't know what I did with my Sharpie, but I will check that fifteen once I find that. And this is fifteen. And then I'm just put this back in here. And we're $85 of completing section one. So it takes $100 to complete section one. Okay. And next, I wanted to do envelope 10 and 11 out of my 100 envelope challenge. Ten, ten, and eleven. And again, this is prop money because my bank was closed, and the ATM won't give me the right denominations. But I will fix that in my next video. This is eleven. Going into eleven. I'll just put that in like that. And this is 10 going into the number 10 okay those two envelopes are stuffed put those back in here So, I had 191, I believe, towards saving challenges. Let's see. Here we go. Yep. I had 191. So, I have 191 minus the, let's see, minus the $36. That will leave me with 155 and I also wanted to give, uh, do uh, 65 towards giving. So it's minus 65. And that will leave me with $90 to stuff. Um, in my next video, towards my saving challenges, once I go to the bank, I will get the money out of the bank. And I will let you all know that on my next video. If you like this type of content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, this was a long one. If you could put this emoji right here. And I thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.